Round tanks and curved walls are an excellent application for EFCO's HandyForm system. Standard HandyForm panels used with HandyForm flexible panels will form the required radius. The size of the standard panel will vary according to the radius and amount of cord allowed. The first step to form a round tank is planning your work. An engineer can calculate the inside and outside circumference of tank walls. The second step is to select the standard panel module for the tank depending on the allowable cord dimension. Most tanks are formed with a 24 inch cord, but sometimes a smaller tank requires a 16 inch or 12 inch panel. Some very large tanks may use a 48 inch cord. The normal assumption is that a 2 inch flexible panel will be used between each 24 inch modular panel on the inside of the wall. Completing the outside plating plan requires using wider flex panels in order to make up the difference in the circumference of the inside and outside of the tank. After the wall line has been established, it is necessary to fasten a base plate to the slab or footing. This base plate can either be strips of plywood cut into the radius or a series of short lumber pieces equal to the cord length. The best method is to wreck the inside of the curved wall or round tank first. To begin erection, place both edges of the form panel directly above the wall line and nail to the base plate through the holes provided in the bottom flange. Clamp the appropriate flexible panel to the first panel set as indicated in EFCO's form erection drawings. Next, clamp another form panel to the flexible panel. Align the joint between the flexible form and the form panel just set with the wall line and secure to the base plate by nailing through the holes in the bottom flange. Move the leading edge of the panel just set directly over the wall line and repeat nailing procedure. Repeat this entire procedure around the tank. To erect the outside wall, place the first form panel directly opposite a panel on the inside and pin the spreader ties. Nail the form panel to the base plate to prevent horizontal movement. Set the next form panel in place, placing it over the spreader ties and temporarily pin the ties. Set the required flexible form between the panels and clamp making sure that all pins are securely in locked position. A vertical row of spreader ties is required on both sides of the flexible form panels. When the diameter of a round tank exceeds 70 feet and job specifications allow, it is possible to eliminate the flexible form on the inside and use take-up panels on the outside as required. Place vertical aligners on the inside of the radius wall at regular intervals using the EFCO aligner clamp, clamping to the standard form panels. These aligners should always be equal distance from the nearest flex form panel and may be placed at center to center dimensions as required. A diagonal brace is attached to each panel.